What's up guys, I'm Shane. Welcome back to the career of a 99 overall quarterback. We're on the Heisman watch. Whoopee, we should have no problem with this. If you look at the conference outlook, we are projected number two in our own division. San Diego State is 86 overall. We go 90, 95, 85 defense, unfortunately. And the only other team who comes close to us besides San Diego State, that would be Boise State, who's up to a 91 overall. The second best team over there is Wyoming. So it should be us and Boise State in the conference championship if everything goes well. I hope so. Or we're cursed, who knows? I gave us, like I said, the softest schedule I could. We have FCS this week, week two, week three, and week four. It's all FCS. Our first real game is week five against Colorado State. But what I'm actually gonna do is we're gonna jump all the way up to week eight, play San Diego State, and then we're gonna see where we're sitting at um, cause none of these other games really interest me, but if for some reason the season goes south, we'll at least go to UNLV. Like if we're not going to make a bowl game or the conference championship for some godforsaken reason, then we'll at least watch that one. But I'm hoping that we can run the table, at least go like 11 and one, get into the conference championship game, and then hopefully meet up with Boise and have ourselves a good time. I got rid of the automatic bowl bid. So even if we win the division or win the conference, we're not necessarily going to a BCS Bowl, but I'm hoping with the soft schedule and our great overall, we should still qualify for one anyways. Okay, here we are at midseason. We are 6-0 right now. We handled everyone that we needed to handle. And San Diego State is 3-3. We're killing it, though. How's this for a Heisman campaign? Colt Brennan II, 237 passer rating, 132 of 174, 2,159 yards, 30 touchdowns. Mind you, this is only in six games. Here's the big one, zero interceptions. 75% completion percentage, Joe Burrow eat your heart out. Once again, we lead the team in rushing, not by that much though. 368 yards on the ground for four touchdowns, averaging 6.8. Nick Mardner, fresh off the Bolitnikoff, already with 15 touchdowns. Halfway through the year, 15 touchdowns. Higgins has an 89 yard catch, he has seven touchdowns. Phillips, who we redshirted, he has seven touchdowns, 402 yards. Yeah, okay, this is working out a lot better. As far as the top 25, we played four FCS schools. We weren't going to be in there, but we are up at number 31 according to uh, Championship Contenders. So we're close. We'll hit the top 25 if we stay undefeated. At least we'll have that for us. But apparently, not much higher. Which is okay, that's kind of what I was expecting. Alright, so you see how we're killing it when I'm just completely simulating the season. Let's see what happens when we jump into it. Illinois on the back of Deshaun Gaddy is up to number 17 in the country, so at least he's doing well. And so are we. All right, we're three of three so far. They've all gone to Pinoak, and uh, the last two have been just little out routes. But here comes the first run of the game. And 11 yards. There you go, Bo Bailey. Get the play action going. Good pass up the middle. There's Mardner. I don't know if it's Pinoak or Pinoke. I don't know if he's Hawaiian or... Oh. Oh, no. There goes our perfect interception season. Sorry. Let me just finish that thought. So, Pinoke, if he's actually Hawaiian, I believe it's Penoke. But I don't know his place of origin. All right. It's not going well for either team right now. We're just going three and out back and forth, basically. We got, we got two first downs because of a penalty on that last drive. Are you kidding me? Just three straight incompletions? We had 75% completion on the season coming into this game, and now we can't do anything. There we go. We're putting together a drive now. There's a touchdown. All right. We take the lead. And another 24-yard touchdown, this time to Mardner. I'm, I'm trying not to watch the plays until we get inside, like, the 15-yard line. But if he's going to keep throwing 25-yard strikes, I'm going to have to start watching sooner. Uh, Bailey just got us a 94-yard touchdown. Why would I even watch from the six? So that's how this game's going to go. And another 25-yard touchdown. All right, I, yeah. So inside the 30, we got to start watching, apparently. We've got this game pretty much in hand, but I want to see more than, like, five plays. Yeah, the second I start watching, three-yard sack. Oh, big one. Can we get it? No, wasn't picked, though. He was out of bounds. Oh, look, I sim it. He gets the first down. All right, at the 14-yard line. Can we do something here while I'm watching, please? No. Option play. He oh, gets stopped right at the goal line. 
That's actually good. Now let's see if we we should be able to get a touchdown from here. Bailey has 120 yards on four carries now because of that 94 yarder. Yeah, I saw that slant wide open. Good job. There's a touchdown to Nick Mardner. All right, that'll probably be the last you see of this game. I got a feeling the backups are coming in after this. Okay, so that was not even close. And that was, I think, our last tough matchup of the entire season. All right. So his final stats on the day, 32 of 46, 352 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. He was actually, bit, like, worse than his season averages. He dropped his QB rating and his completion percentage and threw his first pick. But if this is a bad game for him, that shows you what kind of year we have ourselves set up for. All right, so nice 35 to 6 beat down of San Diego State. I'm going to sim forward to the conference championship game, which I'm going to assume that we're going to be in. But regardless, we're going to be in a bowl game at the end anyway. So even if we, if we have a colossal collapse, we're still going to be playing in something in the postseason. All right, so we went 11 and 1. We're number 15 in the country, and we're not playing in our conference championship game. Unfortunately, we lost by one touchdown to Fresno State, and they only had one conference loss as well, so they technically win the division even though we're a better overall team. Of all the games to drop, that's the one that was the most costly. And they will be playing 11-1 Air Force in the conference championship. We're a higher ranking than them in everything. We are number one on the board for the Heisman, but as you've seen with the North Texas series, that doesn't mean anything to me. But let's take a look at his final stats. Okay, not bad. Now I'm going to really kick myself for not having that extra game. So we have 4,662 yards, 50 touchdowns, a 211 rating, only four picks. So if we had that extra championship game, maybe we could have gone after the uh, record for Colt Brennan Sr., but I don't think it's going to happen in one game. We also added on 699 yards and 12 touchdowns. We have a bunch of finalists for other awards, but I really only care about Colt Brennan, so let's advance the week and let's see if we take home the Heisman at least. Well, we took home the Heisman at least, even without the conference championship game. Yay, I got a trophy. Dear God, I still had never won the Heisman anywhere in this game. We are number 14 and we're gonna be playing Tennessee, so we still get an SEC team but not a very good one at least. We took home the Heisman, the Maxwell again, the Walter Camp. I got a feeling, yep, there's the Davey O'Brien. Oh my God, they have a 99 overall offense and 99 defense. They only went six and six. I hate the SEC so much. All right, Colt, this is your last game in college football. Let's make it start. Oh. Ooh, nice shrug off that one. We're bolting, go, 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 go. He's gonna get caught, but Taking it all the way down inside the 10 yard line. Bo Bailey on the first play of the game. Are we about to pull the upset here? Actually, I guess technically we're the favorites. Did the center just run that? Yes, he did, that's what happened. Okay, that was a weird one. And we take a sack on third down. So that kills that big play. All right, 19 yard touchdown. So we're, we're keeping up and then we missed the PAT. All right, we got a first and goal from the one. Trying to punch this one in to really make it a good lead. Toss play, no one around. Bailey gets in. Taking a 15-7 lead, and hopefully we get this PAT. All right, we're at the six-yard line, five and a half. Up 16-10, two minutes to go and a half. And yeah. Markiplier is pissed. Uh, I assumed the play and I don't know what happened. It just says negative four yard rush by Bailey and now it's saying PAT. See, negative four yard rush by Bailey, PAT good. What was the touchdown? Oh man, we drove down the field pretty good here at the end. We had like 30 seconds left. We got it down to the 25 and we make the field goal. So we're up 26 13 going into the half. Another touchdown toss. All right, looks like we got this one in the bag. We keep getting, like, all these penalties on them. All right, I'm going to jump in and watch. We got a... I mean, it's a 20-point lead right now. Let's get some gameplay in here. Read option. Oh, nice run. A little stiff arm. He's pushing. Look at him go. He's like, no, I'm going out at least as a bowl champion. All right, let's see what happens. And an 8-yard touchdown pass. Without fail. Oh, they got on the board, but we recovered the onside. 
Nice pass over the middle. Laid out a little bit at the end, but we got that inside. And in for another touchdown. It's a rushing one this time. I don't know. I, I think they're going to take the starters off the field now. No, nope, Brennan's still out here. Still holding on to that 20-point lead. They keep scoring and not getting that onside kick. Read option play. Hesitated way too much on that. All right, they're not even calling timeouts. I think this is about over. I think we're just going to run the clock out here. All right, I'm sorry. I get it. It's just the computer being dumb, but, like, you threw it away. It's third and two. You threw it away. Why wouldn't you just run the ball at that point? And we did it. Finally, Colt Brennan's final game. Coach Markiplier wins the point set of bowl. Over 6-6 six and six Tennessee. No idea how bad their coach has to be in order for that to be their record and for them to perform this poorly in this game. Colt Brennan, player of the game, obviously. All right, so final stats on the day. Colt Brennan, 33 of 45, 469 yards, four touchdowns, no picks, and took a couple of sacks. 32 yards on the ground, no touchdowns, but we didn't get anything done on the ground anyways. All right, so I'm going to grab a screenshot real quick, and then we're going to jump forward and look at his final career statistics. All right, so his final career stats, he finishes with a career rating of 186.7, 17,855 yards, 179 passing touchdowns, 24 picks, 336.9 yards a game. And again, that's with year one, me really botching him. Look at how he had 3,300 yards his first year. I, I screwed that one up. And again, that's being terrible. 115 sacks during his career. That's not good. He also had 3,067 yards, 38 rushing touchdowns, 49 tackles, 15 for a loss, 1.5 sacks, and 3 picks. Oh, and 13 pass deflections and a forced fumble. Now, we never broke any of the season passing records, but we did set the all-time mark for passing touchdowns in a career. We didn't even come, like, we were still like 2,000 yards short. Uh, who's that? Case Keenum? His record. He was throwing like 5,000 yards a season. Holy cow. And Mardner ended up with the receiving record for yards. We did at least take home the passing touchdown and passing yard record for Hawaii. So at least there's that. It's not a bad stretch. Hawaii went 9-5, 10-4, 5-7 that one season in the Pac-12, then 12-1, including their first bowl record during this run. So... Yeah, I'd say the 99 overall quarterback, it makes a hell of a difference. Well, Colt Brennan, he's officially graduating, projected to go in the first round of the NFL draft, you think? And so ends the road of our 99 overall quarterback, or does it? You know, he's projected to go in the first round. I'm guessing the number one overall pick. I wonder how he's going to do as a pro. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. If you have any suggestions for any 99 overall players you would like to see, any schools, like I said, group of five schools only, leave that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.